next week, President Biden will travel to a NATO summit in Lithuania on the Baltic Sea. It's one of the countries considered most at risk of potential Russian aggression following Moscow's invasion of Ukraine. Lithuania is one of three Baltic countries bordering Russia and Russia's ally, Belarus. Our Holly Williams flew on board a NATO aircraft to see how allied air forces are carrying out drills to protect their airspace. And she joins us now from Eindhoven Air Base in the Netherlands, of course, where NATO launches refueling missions. Very important work. Holly, good morning. Good morning, Tony. The North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, binds the U.S. together with its European allies with a promise to defend each other if they come under attack. And here in Europe, the allies are also working together to intercept Russian aircraft approaching NATO airspace. At an airbase in Eastern Europe, NATO F-16 fighter jets are scrambled. Flight crews from America's European allies have just 15 minutes to get airborne. This is just a drill, a training exercise, but the threat is real. Since Russia invaded Ukraine last year, NATO has ramped up its air policing along its eastern flank. Nearly all the planes they intercept are Russian military, flying close to NATO airspace, sometimes with their transponders off, violating international regulations. Last year, there were nearly 600 intercepts. We flew over Europe in a refueling tanker. They are super close. I can make out the pilots in the cockpits as NATO fighter jets practiced intercepting us. If you leave them all alone unescorted and we have civilian airliners uh, flying the same airspace, then you could potentially have a mid-air collision. Major General Harold Van Pei told us the Baltic Sea is a hotspot, with Russia on one shore as well as several of America's NATO allies, including Estonia, a tiny nation smaller than West Virginia with a population of just over a million. When you have a bully uh, in school, then uh, the bully does not bully you when you have big friends. And this is the way uh, NATO works. On the ground, we met the Prime Minister of Estonia, Kaya Kallas. Her country was once invaded and occupied by the Soviet Union. Now independent Estonia shares a border with Russia. So it's about, a, about 120 miles in that direction, yeah, yeah. Russia. For countries like Estonia, democracies that live in the shadow of Russia, how important has American leadership been following the invasion of Ukraine in terms of unifying NATO's response? Well, the uh, United States is the biggest ally in, in uh, NATO, and therefore everybody's looking up to uh, America for, for leadership. This is a fundamental uh, fight for freedom that is going on. But some in the U.S. are questioning whether America should continue to support Ukraine. I will have the disastrous war between Russia and Ukraine settled. It will be settled quickly. quickly. That could mean pressuring Ukraine to give up part of its country for a truce. And it makes some here in Europe nervous. What keeps you up at night? One of the nightmares is that, uh, that our unity is falling. Now we have kept this unity, and I think my nightmare is related to uh, this uh, unity falling apart. Now, here is an interesting fact. Tiny little Estonia has committed around three times as much aid to Ukraine as the U.S. has as a percentage of GDP. Nate. Oh. Holly Williams, eye-opening reporting. Thank you so wow. much from Netherlands. We appreciate you.